Hello all, this is the practical demonstration of session hijacking using XSS. For this attack we will be using two browsers. We will treat Firefox as the victim and Chrome as the attacker. So now let's just do a victim action. What he is simply going to do is he is going to log into his website. So we know that the username is one user1 one, and the password is user1. So he has been logged into the website. It says welcome user1. Okay. Now let's shift back to the attacker's browser. The attacker does not know the victim's password. So what he is going to do is he is going to try to find an XSS vulnerability in the website. We have already uh, covered this vulnerability in the um, website hacking session. So we will uh, we know that this form is vulnerable and whatever script we inject into this form will be executed in the user's browser. So last time we inserted a alert box. This time we are going to inject a cookie stealing script. So um, here instead of keyword is equal to search, I am going to replace it with this script. So what does the script do? Okay, First it opens the attacker's website, then it loads the file cookiestealer.php and it sends the value cookie which contains the document.cookie from the browser. So um, let's look at the cookiestealer.php file and uh, what does cookiestealer.php file do? It receives the value cookie sent by the user's browser and it opens a file called cookiefile.txt and writes that uh, value into the cookiefile.txt and closes the file. So what does this va document.cookie value contain? It contains the PHP session ID of the victim's browser. So now let's uh, imagine that the attacker manages to convince the victim to visit this URL. So now let's go back to the victim's browser and we're going to open this URL. You can see that the script has been executed and if I go and visit cookie file, cookie file you can see that his session ID is stored in the attacker's server. So we'll just copy the session ID. We'll go to the non-authenticated attacker's browser and we will replace his cookie with the victim's cookie and give save and now that if we refresh we have become the user. This way I can do all the functions of the user. I can change his uh, details. I can do anything that this user can do. So this is session hijacking using XSS vulnerability.